Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. different roles to the different testers so the person who is preparing the document will not be usually testing it he will not test it it will be tested by a different member to whom it is assigned okay and then whoever is going to test this document they are going to make an entry over here and in case it is fail okay she wants to give some more detailed information to the developer she can mention it here in the comment okay all right is it clear everybody fine what is going to happen here in the execution phase all right so again in the implementation okay somebody was asking me to repeat the implementation let, let me write it here okay so it is clear for you in the implementation the first thing that we do is we prioritize the test cases means which are the test cases which we are going to test first second third we are going to have the sequence and then we will group them together and we will form a test procedure okay wherein you know we will decide which test case has to be executed first okay then we prepare a test harness which is nothing but the test environment okay wherein we will take care of the hardware and the software configuration as per the system requirement we will install the required testing tools if necessary okay we will install the software that has to be tested and any library files and let's say the add-ins patches whatever support software are required we will install them and then we will test the test environment I mean we will verify the test environment okay whether it is set up properly or not and then we will start with the execution phase okay is this clear everybody all this thing will be done by the tester only okay we will assign this to one of the tester who is going to do it okay whomever it is assigned by the team lead that person is going to do it is it clear implementation and execution okay now I will take up your questions in the chat box Okay, I think Vinita's question is answered. Okay, Archana, we are not preparing the analysis. We are doing the test implementation and the execution. Okay, yes. And before that, whatever we did, the document preparation, it is the test design.
Okay, and next, okay, Rushali, I think I repeated and you understood. When we prepare a test case, are we executing? Okay, this is also solved. Okay, Santosh, okay, your question is also solved. Okay, Vidya, she has to use the same zip code. Okay, whatever is entered in the test data, the same has to be used. Okay. Okay, Rushali question is answered. And then Rani, in the test harness, do we have to install all the software and tools? Okay. Rani, uh, did you, uh, you know, observe when we discussed the test plan, right? So there, the test environment was mentioned. You remember that? When we discussed the test plan document, our team lead has mentioned the test environment. So we got to prepare the test environment accordingly. Okay, Rani? Jyoti. Okay, Jyoti, maybe this is how it is working, but whatever we have written in the requirement, we are going to test on that. Okay, so currently we have considered this as our requirement, all right, and the test case also will be prepared as per it. Okay, yes, Devia, the test cases will be grouped together. For example, now let's say you are testing the Gmail application, right. In this Gmail application, uh, okay, let's say you are testing the entire Yahoo site, okay. So there you have the email system which is a different one and then you have all the different features. So this email system again has a lot of functionalities for which we have prepared the test cases. So this entire thing will be grouping together. We will make it as one procedure. We will decide which test case to execute first, right. Based on that we will do the testing. We are going to group the test cases together. Okay. Okay. So Namita has a question. While we prepare the test cases example for the fund transfer, do we need to write the test cases for the login or we just mention the login? Okay, for this Namita, what you can do is, let's say I'm preparing for the fund transfer and I write here, click on the fund transfer. In the precondition, I can mention the test case ID of the login. Is it clear? If I'm writing this for the fund transfer, in the precondition, in the first step, I will mention that, okay, the login, that is like if it is TC001, whatever it is, okay, I got to mention that as a precondition. Okay, Namita. Okay, Santosh has a question. <laughs> okay, uh, so what is the proof that she has tested and seen the outcome? I mean, without um, testing if the tester put the result, okay. Uh, Santosh, you know what? I think we have to trust on our testers, right? Because if any problem happens, see here, whoever has tested, okay, their name will also be entered in this document, okay, that this person has tested it, correct? If any problem occurs in that, you know, that functionality, whom are we going to ask the same tester? So the testers will be responsible, okay? And moreover, we got to test. I mean, we got to trust those people, okay? What if you are assigned this task and we don't trust you? Okay, we cannot assign a new, uh, you know, a person then who is going to monitor you like that. Anyways, your team lead will be there. He'll take care of it, okay? All right? Okay, these applications that we are using, do we have any defects in it? I mean, will we be able to find any defects? Um, no, Vinaya, see, because these are real-time projects, right, which are already hosted. So, at this point, I will not be able to really show you any kind of defects. Because these are already tested, they are hosted and, you know, they are completed projects, okay. So, any defects I will not be able to show, but I have given the example, this kind of defects might occur. Okay, and whenever there are defect, we mark it as fail and then we use a defect tracking tool wherein we will be reporting the defects. Okay, yes, Rushali. So what you can do is before we start with the execution, okay, 
So here we got to mention like this tested by okay and we will mention the name of a person. Let's say Rushali has tested it. We will mention the name of Rushali here and she is a QA analyst. What date she tested? Let's say she has tested it on 20th August. We are going to mention it like this. Okay. So the person who will be testing it, they have to make sure they are going to mention this detail over here. Okay. So that you know, we can understand who has tested which document. Okay. Okay, Vinita has a question. Priya, do we have to prepare the test design again if one module has failed? No, we need not prepare the new test design if the modules have failed. We will be considering the same test case and we will be testing it again. Okay. Okay then. So we will proceed further from here. I hope I have answered all your questions. Okay. Yes, Shri. There is a mismatch between expected and actual. We call it as a defect. Okay. Yes. Once the documents are completed, only then we are going to start with the execution phase. Alright. So after the execution and implementation is over, okay, the next step is the defect life cycle. I think if I'm not wrong, did I give you some more assignment? I think I give it, right? The bank... Um, project I think I had given to you. Somebody has done the assignment? I forgot you could have reminded me. Yes, anybody who has done the you know bank um, project that I gave? Yes? Swati you have done? Okay, would you like to share it with the, t uh, with the uh, team over here? Swati, would you like to share it with the team? Okay, anybody who has done the banking project and if you would like to share it with us, please let me know. Or do one thing, send it offline and I will check it, okay? Clear everybody? Okay. Okay, now I receive many yes. Why you do not want to share it in the class? Okay, anyways, no problem, okay, it is left to you, I mean how you want to share it, whether you can share it in the class or you can share it offline, anyways, okay, I'll be providing you the complete feedback, alright. So now, after we are done with the implementation and execution, we got to report the defects, okay, so we saw that here, in the step number 3, there is a defect, okay, the featured services is not appearing. So how do we report this defect? Only mentioning in this test case document is not sufficient. Okay, here we are updating, but we have to prepare a separate defect report. And for preparing a defect report, we will be using the tools. Okay, and the tool that we will be using, it is the quality center. Okay, I hope, uh, um, have you downloaded and installed the quality center? Installation is done or not? I guess I had sent the email, right? Okay, so for some people it is done, some people it is not done, fine. No problem. Once it is done, we will start with it. Okay. So we are going to use the quality center tool, alright, in order to prepare the defect report. Okay, I'll show you how you are going to report the defect to the developer using the quality center tool, alright. It is nothing but a test management tool. We will discuss that later, okay. But for now, understand that whatever defect you get, it has to be reported to the developer, okay. Then, uh, no Swati, that's okay. Which one? Quality center or uh, the project document? Project document you can show. Quality center is fine. We'll discuss about it later. Okay, next class. Project document you want to show? Very good. I will share your screen then. Okay, Swati, you can show it to us. Okay, Udanyu test director is nothing but it is the quality center itself. Okay, 
so previously it is was called as a test director now you know it is called as a quality center if you take the quality center 11.0 we don't even call it as a quality center we call it as ALM okay so test director is the old name of the quality center okay wouldn't you which is no more used we say it as a quality center only okay don't worry I'll discuss about this when we start with the quality center okay Swati I have made you the presenter you can please share your screen Okay, I will. Uh... So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615 You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.